Okay, thanks once again to both the Prime Minister and the Opposition Leader. Uh, I'm just going to give you some brief comments on both matter and manner. Um, we'll start with the Prime Minister's speech. Um, I thought one real strength of the speech was the clear definitions that you gave right from the beginning, and that's something that is important for the Prime Minister to do in a British parliamentary round because you're setting it up for all of the uh, other speakers, all seven speakers who follow you. So um, nice clear definitions and concise definitions that I think would be easy for everyone else in the round to work with. Your team line was also presented uh, at the outset of the speech, and, and that, worked, uh, that was very clear as well, the idea of the welfare and security of society. It was not only provided up top, but one thing that I really liked that you did with it is, for each of your arguments, it kind of became the final thing that you said for each of your arguments. So, we talked about it in class, but if the idea behind your arguments is to support that team line that you're creating, then in, in reality, the team line should be able to fit as the conclusion to each of your main arguments. And not only did it fit, but you made that connection more explicit, and in that way, you got a very clear repetition of your team line kind of built into each one of your arguments. So I thought that was a very effective choice that you made in terms of uh, the structure of the speech. The preview uh, main points was very clear, and, and uh, the arguments themselves were clear. There were uh, a couple of uh, ways in which uh, the uh, so, some of the logic that the opposition leader didn't call into question uh, could have been called into question, particularly with the, the second argument um, about decreasing terrorist acts. Uh, there was a statement made uh, during the Prime Minister's speech that um, that it would uh, that it would prevent terrorists from informing decision making if we had the ban in place. And the problem is, and the opposition leader alluded to this without directly connecting into the argument the way I am, but that if you take away the banning of the broadcast, and this is something that the opposition leader tried to advocate, then the terrorists will find other outlets for what they're doing. And my thinking was just listening to your argument that. Uh, a far stronger influence over public policy can be had by committing a terrorist act than by just creating a video or a recording. So that's not something that the opposition leader jumped on you on in quite that way, but uh, just something I wanted to mention that, about the argument in terms of you know thinking through, which is something you should do with each of your arguments, think through the available responses that could come from the other side to it. And I think in the case of that, you know, the, the quick and easy response is that uh, there are other things they can do other than make broadcasts or recordings which can have tremendous influences on policy making. That said, I understood your logic and where you were going with that. And you did set it up well in terms of saying, you know, the mass media has this tremendous influence on society. It's the way we communicate and distribute information. So you did, you did have some responses to that, I think. Your team would have if that came up. Uh, but, but it's something I just wanted to point out about that second argument. Uh, the nice thing about the arguments is you also, in your tags for the arguments, told us exactly what each argument, what, what each, uh, how each argument connected to your main goal and what effect it would have. So you said decrease fear, decrease terror acts, decrease violence on radio. You know, uh, uh, so the, so that was nice that you you not you didn't just label in fear terrorist acts violence but decrease you had decrease in each one of them so that the effect was implied in the label of the argument itself that was that that's always a very effective approach to take and that worked well. Uh, a couple of comments then from the prime minister about manner. Uh, overall, I, I really uh, thought the delivery was engaging. Uh, one thing to work with in terms of vocal delivery, because you bring a great energy to vocal delivery. Uh, in, in a couple of uh, parts of the speech, you started to fall into kind of a predictable vocal rhythm, where um, it, your voice almost, uh, it didn't take on the quality of a chant, but just uh, it became predictable in terms of the inflection pattern, I think. So you know, the emphasis and so forth, work on adding a little more variety to that to help highlight important ideas. That's a very minor comment on, on what was overall very good manner, though, because your voice was engaging, you did have good energy to it, it just had a tendency to fall into kind of a predictable pattern sometimes. Um, and in terms of gestures and physical delivery, very engaging delivery overall, good emphasis of your points, and nice 
Nice use, not overuse of gestures, but use of some strategic gestures to kind of highlight important ideas throughout.